Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy. Sharing with you from the book, Is That the Best You Can Do? Chapter 1. What Keeps You Awake at Night? I walked into a business after hours networking event and was immediately engaged in conversation with a young man who was the new owner of a social media company. I asked him how things were going for him and his company and got this response. Oh, I'm loving it. Things are going really good right now. Kind of like I expected. Uh Uh-huh. Right. Nobody shares the pain of their nightmares, the stuff that keeps him awake at night. He was full of it, and he knew it. I could see pain and worry in those eyes, but he may not have been aware of how transparent he was. The truth is that it didn't matter who I was talking to. Everyone gives the same answer. Being honest about the number of things that are going wrong is tough, and even if you wanted to, you're not sure how to politely dump on people. You want the world to think you are okay because to mention the real things makes you feel inadequate, ignorant, and unprofessional. We need to start on a note of honesty here. I have news for you. You are far from being the only one who is screwing up on a regular basis. We all have shortcomings, and we are all losing sleep for one reason or another. As a society, we are stressed out all the time, and whether we'd like to own up to it or not, we can only blame ourselves for most of it. I'm not saying we won't try hard to blame someone else, and you might be conjuring up your own defenses as you are reading this, but it definitely is your responsibility. Embrace it. It's the first step towards getting beyond it. I've asked the question, what keeps you awake at night? Many times on my broadcast. So let me share with you some of the stresses my guests have expressed. Sleepless nights have occurred for many of the following reasons. Around the challenges of money. How do I pay my employees? I don't have money for payroll. How do I keep things going when I'm running out of money? My receivables are piling up beyond 60 days. What am I going to do about the lease coming up? Why can't I get the financing I need? Are we making a profit on these? Did we get paid for the last project? I can't afford to advertise. Why does everything cost so much money? I'm not going to make it to the end of the week. I'm broke. We have to stop the bleeding. Does this pile of bills ever stop growing? Where am I going to get the cash to place the order? If only we could sign that new contract. And then there's worries that involve the future. I don't really know where we're going. Where are we going to be a year from now? We haven't sold a new housing start in six months. How do you write an operating budget? The last venture ruined my credit. How do I get a loan? I don't have a clue what anyone is doing. There are no procedures or processes for this. Employees add to the stress. What do I do about Bill? What are these idiots thinking? I can't seem to find the right person. Nobody showed up at the job site today. What a joke, 30 resumes and not one good candidate? That's not how you talk to people on the phone. There's a harassment complaint in the shipping department. I think my people are stealing from me. You go out there and get stuck and you don't call? John is back on the job without proper attire. I can't trust people to do it right. You are fired. What are you thinking? You really ticked off our key client. Inventory and product needs compound things too. I can't get the cabinets on time. Promises, promises, and then it's on back order again. Why is everyone so slow? We can't implement the upgrades. Who is planning on counting all this stuff? The boxes are all crushed. These are the wrong parts. Who ordered this stuff? We have a three-year supply. How can you find anything in a warehouse that looks like this? Do you have any clue what's here? This is defective. Now I have to send it back and wait longer. The computer says it should be here. When's the last time anyone did inventory? Buildings and equipment are another headache. The truck wouldn't start this morning. Half of the rollers are bad in the furnace. The sign needs to be replaced. The transmission blew out on the skid steer. We have a broken lock out front. I can't close up this evening. Where do we find a shear pin to get the plow back on the road? There's no room to do anything here. We ordered a new dryer, but it takes six weeks to get here. Somebody smashed the side window and stole my laptop. Does anyone know why the AC isn't working? Clean this place up. Customers don't understand your problems. You were supposed to have this done two weeks ago. I'm not paying for this. Where's the paint? What color is the paint? Who is painting and when? When are you planning to start? I'm not interested when it will be. I'm not interested. When will it be here? Is this who you plan to do the work? I'm taking my business elsewhere. This is not acceptable. We want to cancel the contract. You are nothing but a jerk. I'm still not interested, but thanks for asking. We want a discount for this. No, no, and no again. 
The things that keep you awake at night are numerous, and they have multiple sources. There's one fundamental issue you must be aware of. You are the single biggest contributor to your stressors. When you understand that, you have a chance at fixing what is ailing you. How do you fix yourself? It's a process. Is that the best you can do? Is not a question for others. It's a question for you. There are a lot of elements connected to this question coming up. So let's take a look at how you can start using it to produce a better version of yourself. I'm Kevin Hunter. Thanks for listening.